Hello and welcome to another episode of Rebel Rogue, where I'm going to tell you what's holding you back in miniature painting. Short disclaimer, this might not actually be holding you back, it just is a possibility. Rebel Rogue. Through the post today, I received these brushes of a friend of mine, who was very kind and got me some brushes. As you can see, we have some very nice, I think they call them, what are they? Just some brushes. They are Chinese, made in China, Zhi, Xiangji province, probably saying that wrong, um, either which way, Nanchang city. These are 10 brushes and I believe they cost £8.99 um, British pound sterling and 10 brushes they're all um, sable hair so yeah he also was very very kind and got me this I don't know if you can see that properly but Raphael 8404 series Kalinsky sable brush this is the sort of brush that two youtubers um, Miniac and Squidmar miniatures both suggest using though Squidmar is now promoting his own brushes a long story sort of thing but before that he did highly recommend this brush so I thought we'd give it a go looking at the Chinese brushes first you can see it comes with a manual so let's just open it this is a nice way of wrapping them each individually wrapped it means you don't have to open all the ones you want you just individually open whichever one you want to try out and keep the rest fully sealed. Let's have a look at what's inside this manual. It's probably written in some poor translation of Chinese. Thank you for purchasing detail brush. All our door. All our wolf. Ten pieces of fine brushes and come a variety of sizes, acrylic painting, blah blah blah. You'll need to soak the brush in water for a few minutes to remove the lint before use. Care tips. Right, let's zoom in. Let's see. Wash it with warm soapy water after use and reshape the nib of the paint brushes. After using the brush, please clean it in, it in time and dry it in a ventilated place. Otherwise the root of the brush hair may easily break or rot due to long term soaking. Vielen Dank für den Kauf des Older Wolf Detail Pinsel Set. I don't speak German, but it's probably, I'm guessing it's what's written there. Um, merci d'avoir acheté cette pinceau, pinceau de peinture Older Wolf. Oled Wolf, via le lier et événement, c'est manuel de l'utilisation et les conserver pour référence utilitaire. I'm not very good at French, but yeah, that's what it says in French. C'est ça de penser. Basically, it's telling you um, look after your brushes, which we can probably tell. So, these are sable brushes, so they're natural hair brushes, let's zoom out again, natural hair brushes, uh, as opposed to these, this absolutely ruined bulb mare brush, which is size 5, I, I, I cleaned it you see, synthetic, and it was very, very cheap, so yeah, as of the topic of this video, what might be holding you back, I, I mainly thought of that as a topic for the simple fact that these two brushes are both cheap brushes, but is there a quality difference? And really, is there a quality difference between them and this? Moving on now to the Raphael. Let's open the bag. Remove the brush. Oh. Okay, that's certainly quality. That lettering, you might be able to see, it's really, really bright reflects like crazy, you can barely read it. Okay, so they're very, very nice. Doesn't come with a manual. Uh, 
certainly darker hair the, the, compared to say the these ones on the same length size up uh, these Chinese ones the hair is actually noticeably darker and looks a slightly less uniform which may mean more quality I don't really know I've never really used one of these so this will certainly be a learning curve so let's crack out paint and crack out a model and see how they work and of course at the end of the video we will be comparing them to this humble detail brush which is synthetic and of course the brushes I don't really use anymore because I found these again the um, Boldmere brushes which are really really cheap synthetics I should also mention before we begin that I may be doing a comparison to this size 3 pure red sable Germany brush that I bought for £2.50 from a local model shop as a good comparison for cheapish sable brushes so the first test we're going to do is with our nice Chinese brushes we're going to take these size 3 and we're going to try applying a wash or an ink to this inquisitor's armour first thing I've noticed about this brush is uh, well this brush as I should say is yes I'm quite aware it's noticeably fatter but when you hold it in your hand it is beefy that is very beefy that it's quite nice how it tapers quite like that but I haven't taken the cap off and haven't tried it yet but good points for the whatever they call them brushes old humble brush comparison and we quickly have a look at the Raphael you can see it is very much fatter so just having taken the cap off you can see that I've got this stray hair I'm hoping it will go away when I dip it in water let's find out dip and rinse take this tissue paper that is pretty soft that that is very nice and soft that, that is softer noticeably softer than most synthetics it's nice right. so let's get our black ink and I'll start applying the wash to this armour So, all in all, this brush was just maybe a little too small for applying a, an ink or a wash, but it was nice, I had good control, and as you can see, this is it after it's dried, it's really toned down that really quite sort of mid-grey colour, it's quite a sort of dark mid-grey, don't quite know what colour it was, but either which way, it has toned it down nicely and given it a good, quite nice panel lining effect so it's a good brush good well good brush for applying an ink now we're going to put it to the test edge highlighting which is not something I'm very good at and I'm also not going to use a brush this large I'm instead going to try one of these smaller sizes perhaps the zero which looks like it needs a bit of a rinse in water um, Perhaps the size one? Probably not. Or maybe maybe we should just go bring out the big guns and try the triple zero. Though I might not want to wreck that. So. Uh, that looks like a good mid-ground. Double zero it is. We'll put this to the test with an edge highlight of whatever colour I choose to edge highlight in.
So, the double zero did seem to stand up pretty well, and as you can see, the final result. I'm not very good at edge highlighting, but I think it's pretty nice. And as this is an Inquisitor, a proper nice character, I think it works pretty well. It's certainly better than my Librarian, which I edge highlighted. It's a Blood Angels Librarian, but it's got the blue Librarian armor. Yes, there's some quite a bit worse, but it was done with the synthetic. Maybe it's just I had a steady hand with this one. I don't know. There's probably something to do with the brush. Any which way, it was a nice brush. It worked well. It, mainly, I, I struggled with steadying my hand, but I can always work on that. Probably something to do with my technique, but the brushes, it was nice. The next thing I want to try out on my some Blood Angel Intercessors I'm painting still. I, I know I put the video out maybe last week or the week before that. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but either which way, any which way. I'm still working on the Intercessor squad of five, because the other five are converted into characters. But yeah, so oh, I'll see how it stands up to that. Stands up to the test of layering. Let's find a good brush for layering. It's probably a bit little large. So maybe something like a size. That's far too small. Uh, maybe a size 1 or something. Let's try the size 2. Let's try that. Might be terrible, might not be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, size two. Let's try this size two. I will then. I'll get down and start painting. So, this brush for layering, it was quite good. I did sort of like it, but I did find that the, the, br the brush was very soft. Almost too soft, because I'm sort of used, so I've got this very, very, probably can't see that, it's very, very soft. But now I'm running my finger along it, it sort of snaps as well. It, well, it sort of make a snaps back, very, it's, like, it's almost elastic. And then you've got, here's my humble brush, it was sort of almost giving me cramp as well, because I'm sort of used to this. But, this is, this is sort of, it's got a different texture. I don't know why this is easier. It's probably due to the length of the bristles, but it was good, but, and I, I, and I didn't have to swap out a brush to do, say, the trim. But it, it was, it was sort of a little soft, I don't know. Preferred it to have been a bit tighter, not tighter but stiffer, but that's, that's only minor criticism. Overall, I do actually think, I do like these brushes, and for what they are, they are synthetic, they are not synthetic, they are natural hair, they are sable hair brushes for a very cheap price, and I would, yes, recommend them. And I do believe that by using them you will probably improve as a painter. Possibly. You might do, I don't know. But I would say they are good and they are cheap and they, for what they are, they're a good price and I think any per sort of beginner painter or someone who's just, just advancing a sort of intermediate painter such as myself would benefit greatly from them. So now I can move on and I don't know when I'll get around to doing this because I need to find the right model I can then move on to the Raphael 8404 series I'm looking forward to it they say you should never meet your heroes that's probably right in this case but we'll see so having finished our review of these cheap sable brushes from Amazon we can now move on to our expensive Raphael sable brush for this test I will be merely layering on this Nazgul or a Nazgul, I don't know which yet I'll choose a Nazgul and I'll just do some layering 
It's a good, simple, easy test because this is the sort of size I'd use for layering or painting. Well, sometimes maybe base coating, but more likely layering or highlighting. Not really edge highlighting, but it's a good size for layering. And I'm not a big blender, but if I, if I blended it, I would use, I'd use it for blending. So, let's crack it out and see how it does. So, I have encountered a slight issue. The paint I'm going to be putting on this model, I'm quite aware I know for a fact that Samba Grey is not watery. I've used it many times. And yet it seems to be quite watery on this model. You can see it's sort of fading. So I may well recommend that before you use this brush, it may well have been sat in storage, I've no clue. But I will recommend that you should probably rinse it very well with cold water. Warm water might break the glue in the ferrule, but I would recommend you rinse it very thoroughly to release, to get rid of any agent that could be preventing your paint from properly mixing. But yeah, I did also find that it, the bristles stuck together a bit, so I had to give it a good rinse in my water pot. So yeah, just that's just a few things to consider. Overall at the minute it is a very nice soft brush I will see if it improves over time and I will complete this model and I will come back to you after that to say my final opinion on it so I'll see you then so final thoughts I would say that no matter what brushes you are currently using these well, unless you're using really high quality ones. These Telgona um, sable hair brushes are very good. Certainly for the intermediate painter, these are pretty good brushes. They're nice to use, they are cheap, and they will, I would say, especially if you're using just synthetics, I would say that they will upgrade your painting. Maybe. They do give you quite a bit of control over a lot of different things. But then, if you want to take your painting perhaps to the next level, this Raphael 8404 is a very nice brush. It is a bit on the expensive side, but if you take good care of it, then it will last you. So, yes, I would recommend the Raphael. I would recommend the Telgona Cheap Sable brushes, because both of them are very good. I will probably be using them interchangeably, but keeping to synthetics for metallics. For example, on this model of the Dwemer Lake, I was, did something I haven't really tried before. I tried a bit of wet blending. I think I used the Raphael, if I'm not too, sh not too forgetful, but uh, I think it's turned out quite nicely. So yes, I would say that it gives you this level of control. They are so soft. They're not like scratchy, like this brush here can be a bit scratchy. They're just, they're just overall a lot nicer. So, as always, like, share and subscribe. If you like this video, well, share it with your friends if you think they'll do it. And you should be able to find a couple of videos you might want to watch. I should have just popped up. Um, you can also subscribe to the channel. It is the best way to support the channel at the current time. We don't have any paid way in subscribing is free and it helps to get the channel out there you can also help as of, of course by watching these videos I know I've reminded you of them once I'm going to remind you again that they are there you can watch them if you want to connect on Facebook or you have recently launched the Rebel Rogue miniatures and modeling Facebook page and the what is it is it the war games discussion group I can't remember there's a group attached to it so yeah if you want to any of them there will be a link in the description below and yeah i hope you enjoy this little hopefully green screen bit don't know quite what i'm going to do with it i'll do something so i'll see you for the next video